Good afternoon, Professor Bugar Mamadov, Department of Forensic Medicine, Azerbaijan Medical University. Today, lecture is about forensic medical toxicology. We will speak about poisons, uh, some information about the treatment, classification of poisons, and uh, the medical legal aspects of toxicology, uh, of poisonings. Knowledge uh, of study of poison based on biochemistry, genetics, physics, and pharmacology uh, contains the science which is called toxicology. There are different types of toxicology. We will speak about forensic toxicology, which is hybrid of analytical chemistry and fundamental toxicological principle, but concerned with medical legal aspects of harmful effects of chemicals on human beings and animals. There are different fields of toxicology also, which we call industrial toxicology or occupation toxicology, environmental toxicology, part of this environmental toxicology also may be considered as food toxicology and food toxicology is a part also forensic toxicology. Clinical toxicology, which is also very important. Military toxicology. So, uh, for example, occupational toxicology deals with protection of workers from poisonous substances or to make their working environment safe. The objective, obviously, is to prevent impairment of health of a person while on job. Environmental toxicology deals with study of chemicals that are contaminants of food, water, soil, and atmosphere. It is also concerned with toxic substances that may enter streams, lakes, rivers, oceans. The most common problems dealt with in this aspect of toxicology are waterborne viruses, bacteria, waste heat from the electrical plants, radioactive waste, and industrial pollution. Clinical toxicology is involved with specific diseases caused by toxic substances and how they can be treated. It includes the study of chemicals originated from any or all sources. So, you see toxicology is a very large ocean of science. We will speak about the forensic part which have medical legal significance. And uh, as a toxicology general, uh, this science started to appear in middle age. The father of modern toxicology is considered Matthew Joseph Orphelia who was attending physician of Louis XVIII in France. In 1815, he wrote his first book on general toxicology that was devoted to adverse effects of chemicals. And he, is also, he was also concerned with legal effects of poisoning. So, <clears throat> is a toxico forensic toxicology a science? which deals with properties, actions, toxicity, lethal doses of fatal period, detection, estimation uh, of poisons. The substrates which are taken into the body or when they penetrated to the body in small amounts, they make toxic effects. Usually it is adverse effects of certain chemicals but also harmful effects, uh, uh, direct harmful effects also. Poison is defined as a substance which, when administered, inhaled, or ingested, is capable of producing detrimental effects on living, living organism. In law, the real difference between medicine and poison is the intent with which it is given. Forensic medical classification divide all the possible poisons into six groups. And main groups are corrosives, which are divided into acid and alkalis. Irritants, second group, which are divided into organic, inorganic, and mechanical. The third group is neurotropics, acting on cerebral cortex or spinal cord or on the level of peripheral nerves. The fourth is cardiac poisons. The fifth group is asphyxiants. And the last is miscellaneous, but mainly contained from pharmaceuticals, 
like analgetics, tranquilizers, hallucinogens, and antidepressants. Depending on route of administration and action, poisons are classified into, depending on the route, five groups. Enteral route, by mouth or by rectum. Parenteral route, by injection. External application on wounds and unbroken skin. Fourth is introduction into natural orifices, such as rect uh, vagina, urethra, nose, eyes. And the last one is sublingual route. Depending on action, we divide the poisons which are acting on local, uh, have local action, uh, due to direct action in the part, which may be caused by corrosion, for example, by strong mineral acids, in irritation and inflammation, like cantarids are acting, or certain nervous effect, uh, for, for example, dilatation of the pupil, by atropine. atropine. <clears throat> Remote action. The second group, it results from the absorption of the poison into the system. After absorption, it may produce either specific or non-specific action. We speak about specific action which depends on the effect of the poison on certain organs with which it has special affinity. For example, opium and its alkaloids act entirely on the cerebral cortex and non-specific action uh, for example shock uh, as outcome similar to that which often results from severe mechanical injury there is uh, poisons which create both local and remote action in such cases while there is destructive action on the local tissues causing gross post-mortem appearance there is also a toxic effect after absorption for example oxalic acid and there are poisons with general action like arsenic mercury etc there are factors in toxicology we also take into account factors which can modify action of poisons and these factors related either with the body or with circumstances environment so, among these factors, first of all, of course, important factor is dosage, dose. One of the major factors influencing the toxic effect of chemical is concentration. As a general rule, harmful effects of a poison depend on its dose. If quantity is small, there may be no toxic effect, or anything can be toxic if enough is taken. There are certain exceptions to this general rule, of course. The second is individual uh, sensibility at idiosyncrasia. Some persons have an idiosyncratic reaction towards certain drugs, and even small amount may cause intense symptoms. It is abnormal response to a drug as a result of inherent personal hypersensitivity to the agent. The third is allergy. Some individuals are allergic towards certain drugs. The fourth is habit. Habit decreases the effect of certain poison due to development of tolerance towards them. Tolerance is also related with this. Uh, it means the capacity of the body to sustain the use of certain drugs without any immediate apparent harm. Synergism and cumulative poisons. Synergism, it means final response are greater than their individual actions if several poisons act together. For example, alcohol and barbiturate in non-toxic doses when administered simultaneously may cause toxic symptoms due to synergism. Cumulative poison, it is a little different. Usually a small dose of poison is broken down in the body and excreted out, but there are some poisons which have tendency to accumulate in the body and result in chronic poisoning like arsenic, mercury, lead, and others. Form of poisons also, uh, aggregate form of poisons also may have, uh, uh, may be considered as a factor modifying the action of the poisons. By physical state, 
for example, gases and vapors act more quickly than the fluids. Fluids are more effective than the solid poisons. By chemical combination, some substances in certain combination become inert. For example, when acid combined with alkalis or silver nitrate combined with uh, hydrochloric acid. Some substances in combination become more toxic. For example, lead carbonates and copper arsenate, which are insoluble in water but soluble in hydrochloric of the stomach. Mechanical combinations. The action of the poison is changed when combined mechanically with inert, inert substances. For example, when acid is diluted with large quantity of water. Condition of the stomach has importance also. If the stomach is full, absorption of the poison will be delayed. If it is empty, it will be speeded up. In general, higher blood levels are achieved when drugs are taken on empty stomach in contrast to similar dose of this same poison taken when food is in the stomach. Certain foods may increase or decrease the drug absorption. For example, fatty foods increases the absorption of phosphorus, while calcium of milk interferes with the absorption of tetracycline drugs. <laughs> <coughs> Methods of administration has also to be taken into account. The manner by which toxic substance is given can affect the time of onset intensity and duration of toxic effect. A chemical injected by intravenous route would be expected to be most toxic. So intravenous, more toxic than inhalation. It is more to inhalation, more toxic than intraperitoneal intraperitoneal more toxic than subcutaneous subcutaneous is more toxic rather than intramuscular intramuscular is more toxic rather than intradermal intradermal is more toxic than oral oral is more toxic than topical so you see the mode of administration has importance sometimes age may be important factor for example an adult Therapeutic dose would be fatal to a child. State of health is important. Uh, weak persons are more susceptible and presence of hepatic or renal disease may significantly affect the action of toxic agents. Mm, sleep and intoxication also somehow because the body function are at their lowest level during sleep so absorption become low. So taking all of this into account, this is uh, general aspects of the poisoning. And during poisoning case, we have two types of duties, medical duties and legal duties. Medical duties is first of all to save the life by maintenance of respiration, circulation and body temperature and prevent the further absorption of the Poison, it is the second. Uh, so, three uh, duties as medical. It is save the life, prevent the further absorption uh, of the poison by gastric lavage and decontamination by washing the skin and removing the clothes. And the third, proper treatment according to condition. Legal duties in any cases, unsuspected or either suicidal, homicidal or accidental, inform the law enforcement bodies. Law enforcement need to be informed about any poisoning. It may be suicide, homicide, or even accident. Legal duties include note down the time of arrival of the patient, signs and symptoms, and treatment which was given. Everything should be recorded on arrival. All biological data need to be recorded, and of course, Collection and preservation of specimen is important, especially blood and urine, sometimes vomitus and gastric contents. <laughs> Speaking about treatment of poisoning, it can be divided into number of headings. It is general treatment, management of shock, management of respiratory complication, use of <clears throat> specific antidote and accelerated elimination of poisons by forced diuresis, dialysis, 
and hemoperfusion. Uh, general treatment is, is the first step in the management, uh, is the first step of the management of an overdose. Uh, it, it is maintain the airway by means of oropharyngeal airway. If there is any risk of respiratory depression, this will cause administration of oxygen and prevent the tongue falling back to obstruct the pharynx. These are two measures to reduce or prevent the absorption if ingested poisons. The general treatment also inc include gastric lavage, stomach, stomach wash, uh, if there is no contra contraindication because in case of, for example, corrosive poisoning, it may lead to perforation. Some relative contraindication is given when petroleum distillates uh, are uh, suspected or patient in coma. So, management of shock, cardiovascular collapse is important. There are three main methods to treat shock which is induced by drugs. It's expansion of intravascular volume by transfusion for example, by normal saline or gelatin solution, use of vasoactive substances like dopamine and dobutamine, and correction of metabolic acidosis. Management of respiratory complications, because pulmonary edema is a serious complication with irrespirable gases and certain other substances such as salicylitis. So, use of specific antidotes, chemical receptor antidote, dispositional functional ante antagonist. So, uh, when we speak about accelerated elimination of poisons, we mean forced diuresis, peritoneal dialysis, hemodialysis, and hemoperfusion. Among unical antidote, we mean ch charcoal consisting very fine black powder prepared from vegetable or animal matter used to absorb a number of poisons still present in the stomach after ingestion due to its absorbent activity. The charcoal may be uh, veg uh, vegetable, plant, charcoal or animal. Adult dose is 50, 100 grams for adults and 50, 20 grams for children as usual and should be given through nasogastric tube. So let's start to speak about the different types of the poisoning in the rest of our lecture. And start, let's start uh, from corrosives and mineral acids. Corrosives, these are uh, substances which can destroy the texture of the tissue and digest or denature their contents. The most uh, they are divided into group, two groups, acids and alkalis. Acids, uh, the commonly used and met during the poisonings, mineral acids are sulfuric acid, hydrochloric and nitric acid. The action of mineral acids is mainly local and they act on the tissues of the gastrointestinal tract in some extent to respiratory system because in oral uh, cavity they can penetrate also the respiratory system. They act by extraction of water from tissues and coagulation of tissue proteins, conversion of hemoglobin to acid hematine. Uh, sulfuric acid, uh, the formula is H2SO4, is heavy, oily, odorless, colorless, and non-fuming acid, which has great affinity with water, so it destroys the tissues by rapid dehydration. This is accompanied by a considerable generation of heat, so tissues are severely scalded. We call it chemical burns, burns by liquid or gas. And when we were discussing the physical factors, we are speaking about type of chemical burns. The dark color of the tissues is due to production of acid hematin by action of acid on the hemoglobin. When 10 milliliter of concentrated acid is diluted with an equal 
volume of water, the temperature of the mixture rises up to 130 degree of Celsius. Fatal dose of uh, sulfuric acid, or it is called also oil of vitriol, is 10-15 milliliters. Nitric acid, or aquafortis, the commercial acid, is either colorless or yellow. It is a fuming liquid. It is powerful oxidizing agent. React with organic matter, proteins, to produce trinitrophenol, which is also known as picric acid, with liberation of nitrogen monoxide. Organic matters like proteins, uh, together with nitric acid, they give trinitrophenol and trinitrogen monoxide. And the organic texture is turning into yellow color, and stains of this acid on the clothes are yellow. Fatal dose is 15-20 milliliters. And finally, uh, hydrochloric acid, which is called also spirit of salt. It is a solution of gas uh, of hydrochloric acid in water. It is colorless and fuming liquid, uh, has an irritating odor. Uh, on cloth, there are some signs which are staining of the cloth depend on the concentration of the acid. All mineral acids can make such stains. If the concentration is too high, the clothes are even perforated. If concentration is less, it is only stain. Brownish dark in sulfuric acid, yellow in nitric acid. Uh, poisoning by mineral acids always makes a pain. It is painful. It is intense, severe, and burning in nature. It will start immediately after ingestion. First, it will be in the mouth, then it will pass in the throat, esophagus, and spread all over the abdomen. Sometimes pain is so severe that it causes shock. Pain is accompanied by severe vomiting. Vomiting is violent in nature. The vomitus first contains acid, then contents of stomach comes out. After this, brownish dark fluid containing blood and pieces of mucose membrane of the stomach come out. The lips are swollen, excoriated like abrasion, which is more marked as the angles of the mouth. The angle of the mouth will be brownish dark in color, excoriated and brownish dark sticks run downward along the angle of mouth on the side of the skin. Tongue is swollen, develops white coat, which ultimately turns into brownish black in color. Teeth become chalky, white, and lose their shining. The cavity of the mouth becomes become full of saliva, mucose, and pieces of mucose membrane. Epiglots and larynx, maybe breathlessness and hoarseness of voice due to edema of epiglottis and larynx. Thirst is excessive of or intense and person is not able to drink due to swelling of epiglottis. So it is a very painful uh, process. We, if we test the urine and stool, urine is suppressed and stool constipated. If acid is in large amount, it may pass beyond the stomach and result in, in blooded diarrhea. Skin becomes cold, clammy, streaky and covered by sweat except the skin of face, which is cyanose due to difficulty in breathing. So, cause of death during the poisoning by mineral acids, it's asphyxia due to swelling of epiglottis and pharynx, or shock due to pain and perforation of stomach. Different postmortem appearance in case of sulfuric acid. You can see linear burns occurring down from the angle of the mouth are more significant. The involved area of the skin are chemically burned, swollen. The mucous membrane of mouth and throat initially white but later gray or brown or black. Teeth chalky white. The stomach is corroded and contents are dark brown or black. In case of nitric acid, findings are the same. Uh, but Color is different and damage area is yellow. There will be edema of the lungs due to inhalation of nitric acid fumes. And in case of the 
hydrochloric acid if acid is diluted then the involved area is white or pale but could be black in case of high concentration and stomach is usually perforated and there is also edema of the lungs in such case of course uh, doctors need to treat the shock and wash the skin immediately with water and remove the contaminated clothes gusted lavage is contraindicated in case of corrosives, corrosives. Uh, so uh, this is enough for mineral acids let's go to alkalis alkaline substances may be defined as chemicals that have a pH of 11.5 and higher and common strong alkalis uh, met in practice are caustic soda natri or harsh caustic potash kalium or harsh washing soda natrium 2 co3 ammonia and its carbonates all these substances are used extensively commercially and prepared in large quantity they are in common use as cleaning fluids alkalis cause penetration of tissues for several days acids cause coagulation of protein and prevent further penetration alkalis uh, act like the mineral acids in corrosive way, way when concentrated and they act as irritants when diluted the toxic effects are due to extraction of water from the tissues conversion of hemoglobin to alkaline hematine they combine with protein and fat to form protein nut and soap which are soluble therefore produce soft necrotic deeply penetrated areas on contact with tissues the solubility of these products allow further penetration which may continue for several days fatal dose for natri or harsh and kali or harsh is 5 gram for natri to uh, natrium to co3 is 30 gram as clinical manifestations after indigestion, patient will complain of pain, which extend from the mouth to the stomach, soapy taste, vomitus has strong alkaline reaction and soapy to touch, vomitus may be blood stained or resemble brown coffee grounds and contains shreds of necrotic mucus. Grayish tracks may run down from the angles of the mouth to the chin, damaged tissues acquire a slimy or soapy appearance. Mucosa of gastrointestinal tract from mouth onward is swollen and gray, slow, readily detached. Cause of death, either peritonitis or pneumonia. Postmortem appearance, inflammatory edema with corrosion and uh, slimness of tissues of esophagus and stomach are outstanding features. The stomach mucosa may be brownish due to formation of alkaline hematite. Steno stenosis of esophagus <coughs> may be present so the special case maybe i will few few words about ammonia because ammonia is a gas at ordinary temperature ammonium hydroxide is a liquid containing 25 29 percent ammonia ammonium hydrochloride is caustic in nature and different from caustic soda and potash on the fact that it gives ammonia in the form of gas Ammonia, even in strong solutions, has only mild effect on the skin, but has severe irritant effects on mucous membrane in solution exceeding 5%. And on the respiratory system, it uh, creates sneezing, coughing, dyspnea, lacrimation, pulmonary effect, and broken pneumonia. Let's go to irritants. Uh, or sorry before irritants i will say a few words about organic acids organic acids uh, uh, and oxalic acid as one of the example it is white crystalline substance uh, it has local and systemic action uh, in local crystals of acid and highly concentrated solutions of oxalates are corrosive uh, they are rarely damage the skin, but readily corrode the mucous membrane of digestive tract. A systemic action, large doses of oxalate, which are rapidly absorbed from the stomach, can cause rapid death <coughs> from shock. Or after absorption, oxalic acid combines with serum calcium and form calcium oxalate, resulting in acute hypo 
calcemia, or it can lead to lead to renal damage. And most of the patients, if they survive the shock and hypocalcemia, they die after a few days uh, due to renal damage. The cause of death is usually renal failure due to action of hyoxalides on the renal tubular cells, resulting in tubular necrosis. Death usually, uh, if it is very high concentration, occurs within an hour from the shock, shortest period being three minutes, the longest maybe five, six days due to renal damage. Fatal dose is 15, 20 gram. The smallest recorded fatal dose is five gram. As main symptoms after ingestion is immediate violent vomiting, pain in the stomach, feeble pulse, cold sweat, collapse, death within an hour or earlier as mentioned, hot burning acid taste on swallowing extending from the gu gullet to the stomach, sense of constriction of suffocation or suffocation, cold clammy skin, vomiting immediately or within a few minutes, which is highly acidic, greenish brown or black color. Pain and tenderness in abdomen, hypocalcemia, tetany, muscle twitching, cold, clammy, perspiration, convulsion, loss of conscious, oliguria, anuria, and renal failure. In living persons, doctors should collect as a specimen vomitus, mouthwash, blood, and urine. In death, we collect as a specimen stomach with contents and kidneys. So, another organic acid which may be uh, important for forensic medicine is carbolic acid, phenol. It is uh, acid which has rapid absorption from the alimentary tract, rectum, vagina, serous cavities, wound, and even intact skin. Uh, this approximately 80% of it excreted by the kidneys. Fatal dose is one from 1 to 15 gram, 20 drops of pure acid, and fatal period, immediate action on swelling of the acid, death may occur within 20 minutes of the administration of the acid. Usual period is within 4 hours. Fatal cases may be prolonged for, for 1 to days. Two, times, two types of course may be acute or subacute or chronic. After absorption of the acid, nervous symptoms reacted as delirium, giddiness, and coma. Vomiting is usually absent due to initial local anesthetic action of carbolic acid. In one-fifth of cases, nausea and vomiting are absent, but if present, may be very severe and uncontrollable may cause aspiration in the lungs. Respiration is slow and stertorous, pulse is feeble, blood pressure is low. As corrosive action of carbolic acid is not marked, therefore a soft stomach tube passed carefully for treatment and stomach is making empty with plain warm water. Lime solution is beneficial, olive oil has also been recommended Apomorphine and emetics uh, have no value in such case. Application of external warmth is extremely important at administration of stimulants such as either hypodermically or alcohol orally or perirectal. Artificial respiration if needed. Postmortem appearance of such carbolic poisoning we can see acid stains, grayish white color at the angle of the mouth and chin. Uh, we can see uh, we feel odor of phenol from the mouth. Mucous membrane of the mouth is hardened and maybe white colored or ash gray color. The mucous membrane of the esophagus appears the same as that of the mouth. The mucous coat of the stomach is corrugated, toughened grayish. 
and appears livery. The duodenum and jejunum appears as above. There are parenchymal degeneration changes in the kidney and the liver. Urine may be smoky green. So carbolic acid very easily obtained from the market. And with its derivatives, they are used as antiseptic, germicide, disinfectant, surface anesthetic, uh, caustics, preservatives. So usually people use it uh, for suicide or accidentally. Phenol is rarely used for homicidal purpose. In living purpose, people as specimen, we take stomach wash, skin wash, vaginal wash, urine in dead we take the stomach and its content and kidney. Another organic acid which may have importance is salicylic acid. It is odorless, crystalline, solid substance, and uh, its important preparations are sodium salicylate, methyl salicylate, and aspirin, which is acetyl salicylic acid. The acetyl salicylic acid was introduced into medicine at the end of 19th century. It has local and remote action, and local action causes irritation of gastric mucous membrane and has remote action after absorption, which stimulate respiratory centers in the medulla oblongata and increase both rate and depth of respiration. Usual toxic dosage is 500 grams, but as low as 130 grams have proved to be fatal. Not solid salicylate is less toxic than aspirin. Methyl salicylate is more toxic. Death usually supervenes within 12-18 hours. Serum salicylate level of over 40 mg in 100 ml is serious and may be fatal. As a treatment, we need to remove poison from gastrointestinal tract by emesis or by stomach wash. Dehydration is managed by administration of oral fluid when toxicity is severe by intravenous fluid. We usually give also sodium bicarbonate to correct the acidosis, cold sponging, glucose to correct the hypoglycemia and uh, treating the symptoms. If person dies, post-mortem appearance, we see gastroenteritis, kidneys show signs of irritation, uh, submucous hemorrhage, pulmonary edema, congestion of viscera may be found. <clears throat> Among vegetable acid poisons, hydrocyanic acid is important. It is vegetable poisons, first prepared from Prussian blue in 18, uh, 1782 by a Swedish chemist Carl Schill. Its important source is potassium cyanide, and sodium cyanide. They use as a fumigant uh, using, they use as f during production of synthetic rubber, metal cleaning, steel hardening, refining and recovery of gold from ores in photography. Uh, hydrocyanic acid is widely distributed in nature. It is vegetable acid found in many fruits and leaves in seeds of apple, cherry, plum, jetberry brush, apricot, bitter almond oil. It is protoplasmic poison. It combines with cytochrome oxidase, which is concerned with transfer and utilization of oxygen. The formation of cyanide cytochrome oxidase compound inhibits the metabolism of oxygen in the tissue. They cannot utilize the oxygen, although oxygen is present in abundance in the circulating blood. As a result, venous as well as arterial blood may remain oxygenated. The immediate cause of death is respiratory failure because nerve cells of respiratory center are especially vulnerable to oxygen wound. Other cause of death is histotoxic or cytotoxic anoxia. Cyanide gas is absorbed from the respiratory system and ingested cyanide is absorbed from the stomach, but it may be absorbed from the skin also. Fatal dose, 60 mg of pure acid, 60 drops of crude oil, or bitter almond and 200 mg of potassium cyanide. As a treatment, first aid is removal of patient from source of poisoning and decontamination. 
removal of clothes, washing of skin with plenty of water. If possible, give to, uh, we need to give him 100% oxygen. And then start to treatment of inhalate cyanide as emergency. Patient should be removed from source of poisoning, giving amyl nitrate, uh, artificial respiration with 100% oxygen. And to give antidote kit, which uh, uh, if possible. Principle of treatment to reverse the cyanide cytochrome oxidase combination. This is achieve converting hemoglobin into methemoglobin. Methemoglobin has greater affinity for cyanide than the cytochrome oxidase. So cyanide will combine with methemoglobin, form cyanomethemoglobin, which is non toxic and slowly dissociable. Sodium nitrate given to produce methemoglobin, which competes with cytochrome oxidase. Or sodium thiosulfate is given immediately after natrium nitrate injection to convert cyanide into sodium thiocyanate, which is relatively non toxic. If person dies, postmortem appearance, external smell of bitter almond is felt, hypostasis is pink in color, fine froth at the mouth, blood, shoot eyes, congestion of sclera with dilated pupils. Internally, we see a mucous membrane of stomach may be pink, brain and meninges are congested, petechial hemorrhage on the pleura, pleura and pericardium, fine bloody froth present in the trachea and bronchi, lungs are congested, smell of bitter almond is also usually present in stomach and brain. And uh, venous system is gorged with cyanotic blood, only condition whose the venous blood contains more oxygen than the arterial blood. Medical legal aspect is uh, mostly suicidal, many suicides might made by cyanic acid because it is very cheap, available freely and easily. Uh, death is instant. Homicide, homicides is uncommon as it has smell of bitter almond. Accidental is common in children. So we finish about the acids and corrosives. So let's go to the irritant poisons. These are substances of agents which causes irritation and inflammation of the body surfaces with which they come into contact. And as mentioned, they may be organic or inorganic. Uh, and mechanical. They irritate gastrointestinal tract and depress the central nervous system after absorption in the blood. <clears throat> As mentioned, corrosives also in dilute forms have an irritant action and may have a role of irritants. So let's start from organic poisons, uh, vegetable poisons. First, there is an infinite variety of plants which have toxic component in the plant itself, in the seeds, flowers, and fruit which have the potential to the poisonous of human body. The poison of the vegetable origin consists mainly of natural alkaloids and castor oil, croton oil are one uh, good examples. Ergot, poisonous mushrooms are good examples of these organic irritant poisons. Castor oil obtained from the seeds of the plant, which is called Rhythmus communis. These seeds contain an extremely active and toxic protein, ricin. It is a purgative castor oil, doesn't have significant toxic properties. So five seeds are fatal for children. 20 seeds of uh, this uh, plant are fatal for adults. S main symptoms, severe pain in abdomen, vomiting, thirsties, convulsion, and death. Stomach wash and symptomatic treatment are recommended. Croton oil is extracted from the seeds of Croton tiglium. Uh, they resemble castor seeds in size and shape. shape. One four seeds are fatal. Symptoms is severe purging, collapse, and death. Treatment, stomach wash, emetics, universal antidote, and symptomatic treatment. Ergot is a fungus which attacks in fast rye and other cereals. It is most commonly used by midwives and in veterinar veterinary practice. Ergot causes strong contraction of myometrium muscles 
Therefore, it has a strong action on the uterus. Ergot contains 10 alkaloids, ergotoxin, ergotamine, ergometrine, and they're used in gynecology practice. Death may occur within 24 hours, depending on the different dots. Symptoms are nausea, vomiting, dryness of mouth, thirstiness, pain in abdomen, purging, pain in head, stupor, dilatation of pupils, coma. On the chronic poisoning, it is itching, disturbance of sensation, paralysis of sensory nerves, psychiatric manifestation, convulsions, and epileptic form, epileptical attacks. Treatment, emptying of stomach, general treatment, vasodilatation, nicotinamide, and withdrawal of ergot. And finally, many cases of poisoning, organic irritants are mushrooms. By mistaken belief that a poisonous mushroom can be distinguished from the eatable one because the skin of the poisonous kind, kind cannot be peeled from the cap. Manita phalloids, also known as death cap, contains a heat stable polypeptide principle which damages cells throughout the body. Liver, kidneys, brain, and heart are especially affected. The toxic principle is rapidly bound to the tissues and incubation period about 10 hours. Then symptoms like vomiting, diarrhea, bloody, vomitus, and stools with enlarged tender liver and jaundice with following oliguria and anuria, uh, pulmonary edema, and mental confusion if you uh, death cases. So... <clears throat> Let's speak a little also about animal poisons, insects such as ants, wasps, ornaments, and wide variety of snakes as well as scorpions may be cause poisoning of human beings. The bites and stings may cause wells, local edema, inflammation, and even worse, general symptoms due to hemolysis, cytotoxin release, or neurotoxin release. Among shellfish and poisonous fish, we should mention mussels, clams, oysters uh, growing in the open ocean water. They have enough and sufficient poisons to kill a person. Uh, the first symptoms are numbness of lips, nausea, tingling of the face and extremities, followed by respiratory paralysis and collapse. Fatality rate is 10% in the first 12 hours. Gastric lavage is recommended in such cases. Poisonous fish include puffers, triggerfish, parrotfish, morel, uh, jellyfish, and others. 40,000 deaths annually occur due to the insect bites. This includes bees, spiders, wasps, scorpions. So, main symptoms and signs are pain, intense hyperemia, edema of larynx, lungs, and liver. Uh, treatment is application of tourniquet, codeine, and morphine, calcium, gluconate. Snake venom. Each year, the same amount of the people are dying from snakes by. Snakes are either poisonous or non-poisonous. 13 different families can be distinguished out of nearly 2,500 species of snakes. But the most uh, poisoning are vipers, adders, cobra, rattlesnakes, sea snakes. Snake venom contains the neurotoxin or cholinesterase or hemolysin and proteolysin, fib different fibrinolysins, coagulases, agglutinins, cardiotoxins, and hyaluronidase, which make toxic effect of the body. The degree of toxicity of snake bites depends upon the nature of the venom and the quantity injected, the size of the person bitten. Children are more vulnerable to death, and uh, this other symptom is pain, uh, because bite array is swollen, red, inflammation is happening. If the venom is neurotoxic, in case of cobra, muscles are paralyzed, mouth, throat, and chest. Convulsion appear, affects nerves and brain. If, in case of vipers, then hemotoxins are prevailed and cytolysis of vessel walls, tissue cells, and red cells happening, which leads to intravascular blood clotting, hematuria, and death occurs from neurotoxic respiratory paralysis due to cytotoxic cell anoxia. Death is rapid within 
10-15 minutes. And fatal dose is 15 milligram of dry cobra venom or 40 milligram of viper venom. One bite contains 200, 300 uh, milligrams in cobra and 150-200 milligram of viper. So one fifth of the bite is enough to make fatal dose. In postmortem appearance, you, you see the bite place uh, by redness. Connection tissue infiltration with bloody fluid. The skin may be bleep. Organs are congested, blood hemolyzed. As a treatment, as a first treatment, it is immobilization of beaten part, application of tourniquet, incision of the wound, wound toilet by calcium permanganate, suction of the venom, application of ice pack is beneficial also. Among inorganic poisons, uh, the mostly used poisons are metallic, metallic poisons like arsenic. And taking into account of time of the lecture, I would recommend you to read it in the textbook because we don't have a lot of time. Please read arsenic poisoning, lead poisoning, which is uh, uh, more important among irritants metallic poisonings and mercury poisoning. I think these three metallic poisonings will be enough. Thallium is not uh, very often. And the second group is non-metallic poisons. And among non-metallic poisons, I would recommend you to pay attention to the phosphorus, phosphorus poisoning. The uh, fourth group of the poisons in the neurotropic poisons act mainly on the nervous system at three different sites cerebral and this group uh, include poisons of somniferous group inebriants and delirium uh, the poisons acting on spinal cord and the poisons for like strychnine and the poisons acting on the peripheral nerve the poison acting on the cerebrum can be further classified as, as I said, somniferous group. Uh, they cause sleep, narcotics. This is group of opium, morphine, and petidine. Inebriants, they cause intoxication, like ethyl alcohol, methyl alcohol, chloroform, ether, nitrous oxide, petroleum product, barbiturate, chloral hydrate, pesticide. And delirians, they cause delirium, for example, cocaine, cannabis, datura. These include illusion, false interpretation, hallucination, false perception, and delusion, false belief. So it is also a very interesting and important chapter to read. I would like to recommend you to read and focus especially on uh, poisons of the group of opium. Uh, in opium, opium uh, somniferous uh, is most open and post-mortem appearance externally the smell of opium is present the face is deeply cyanosed almost black, the fingernails are blue the veins are engorged and distended in the neck and the post-mortem lividity is intense, almost black internally you can see the stomach may show the presence of small soft brownish lumps of opium, the trachea, bronchi, lungs and brain exhibit a marked degree of venous congestion, lungs are edematose, the blood is usually dark and fluid. Uh, as a specimen, we take for laboratory brain, blood and bile. Uh, <clears throat> addiction, of course, uh, opium, morphine, addiction, it is case of mind in which there is craving for a symptom like condition rather than for a particular drug is present due to chronic and periodic intake of the drug for non-medical and non-scientific uh, reasons drug uh, any chemical uh, as drug addicts they can take any chemical compound which make them dependent on that the other group of uh, inebriants, neurotropic 
poisons are alcohols. Among alcohols, it is ethyl alcohol. Uh, this term is used loosely, whereas the only alcohol used as a drink, ethyl alcohol, which is also known as ethanol. It's obtained by the enzymatic fermentation of CHO, like starch, fruit, and sugar juice. The liqueur obtained by this process contains only 10% of ethyl alcohol, which is purified and redistilled again and again. <coughs> When we call absolute alcohol, we mean 99% alcohol, never 100. When we see, we, we, we speak about rectified spirit, it is 95% alcohol. When we call spirit, it is any liquor containing uh, uh, alcohol. Uh, under rectification, we mean every process by which liquor is purified or refined. By act mechanism of action of alcohol, the central nervous system is selectively affected by alcohol. Alcohol acts directly on the neuronal membrane and not at the synapses. At the membranes, it interferes with the iron transport by inhibiting the enzyme natrium calcium atopy ACE. Concentration of 5-10% blocks the neuron ability to produce electrical impulses. The effects of alcohol on central nervous system is directly proportional to its blood concentration. Absorption, metabolism, excretion is very important. During acute alcohol poisoning, the manifestation depends upon its conversion in blood. It is divided into three stages. Stage of excitement at the beginning with euphoria, pleasurable mental excitement, laughter, rapid heart rate, then stage of in coordination uh, when uh, it leads to confusion and loss of recent memory, uh, slurring, incoherent and difficulties in pronouncing consonants in speech, and acts also affected staggering gait, impairment of skilled movement in reaction time. And the final stage is stage of narcosis, when you see giddiness, weariness, sense of heavy limb, diminished sensibility, strong urge to sleep, muscles uh, relax, reflexes abolish, etc. Fatal dose and fatal period for adults, it is 400-500 mg percent concentration in blood and above. In children, in children, the fatal dose is 1 ml per kilogram of body weight. Uh, fatal period is about between 12-24 hours. As term of treatment, gastric lavage emerges intubation of the patient, application of heat uh, or warmth, intravenous glucose to maintain the glucose blood, blood level, hemodialysis, oxygen inhalation, artificial respirations are important. We should also consider the chronic alcohol poisoning because uh, many cases uh, when we deal with the corpses of the people uh, of chronic alcohol, alcoholic. Besides ethanol, we uh, sometimes have cases of methanol poisoning also, methyl alcohol. It is the alcohol with the simplest structure and the most serious damage to human body. It is widely used, this uh, substance, in industry and around the house as general solvents, thinner paint, antifreeze, duplicating machines, it is obtained from the destructive distillation of wood, methanol absorbed and distributed in the body in a manner similar to that of ethanol. It is metabolized by the same enzymes, but the smaller rate of ethanol. The slow rate of metabolism accounts for more accumulation of methanol and its metabolites, which are formaldehyde, formic acid, and acetic acid. And this aspect is responsible for toxic effects. The signs and symptoms following 3-6 hours latent interval, there is abrupt onset of the following symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, dizziness, delirium, headache, intensive gastrointestinal pain, back pain, diarrhea, cold, clammy skin and extremities, optic nerve damage, optic disc echinomia, which leads to the uh, 
blindness. The ocular damage can occur after ingestion or as little as 4 milliliters of methanol, which can result from blindness. Eye damage in the form of retinal distraction and optic nerve degeneration. In severe cases, respiratory and heart rate is depressed. Acidosis of statonous convulsion lead to coma and to death. Fatal dose of methanol is 50 to 150 milliliters and fatal period is 3-4 days. Chloroform, it was once prepared in large quantity for anesthetic purposes, but nowadays it is used as solvent in chemical and plastic industry. Uh, chloroform poisoning symptoms are vapors when inhaled in concentration form. It is extremely dangerous and uh, it depresses the vagal center in concentration of 2% on, in air, leading to cardiac arrest or fatal fibrillation, accompanied by vomiting, frequent feeble pulse, acetonuria, apathy poisoning, and deep coma. This is delayed chloroform uh, poisoning. At the beginning, it is a stage of analgesia, uh, but then stage of excitement and stage of anesthesia coming to the stage of paralysis manifested by deep unconscious. The fatal dose is 30 milliliter by mouth. If inhaled, the dose is uncertain. Stomach wash is recommended as a method of the treatment. And finally, a fear, this action closely resembles that of chloroform. It is considered to be a safer anesthetic than chloroform because cardiac disturbance and liver necrobiosis don't occur. Uh, ethyl poisoning symptoms uh, by hot burning taste, sense of constriction and heat in throat, great excitement and chronic gastritis. Fatal dose is 30 milliliters if ingested. There is nit laughing gas, nitrous oxide. It is colorless gas with a sweetish taste and characteristic odor. Upon inhalation, it produces light anesthesia rather rapidly. Hysterical excitement excessive laugh, laughter, anesthesia, but leading to respiratory depression and death. So, <clears throat> sometimes in poisoning we can have a cases with poisoning of petroleum products. Crude petroleum oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons contaminated with organic sulfur compounds as well as paraffin hydrocarbons, naphthenic hydrocarbons and aromatic hydrocarbons in different regions. So the main symptoms of such poisonings is typical kerosene taste, burning sensation in the throat, nausea and vomiting, diarrhea. They act uh, uh, very uh, heavily toxic on central nervous system. Treatment by contaminated clothes should be removed. Skin should be washed with water to gastric lavage, liquid paraffin, artificial respiration, oxygen, antibiotics, and symptomatic treatment. It is occasional suicidal self-immolation. Very rarely homicidal. In majority of cases, it is accident. The other group of hypnotic drugs, barbiturates, which are derived from barbituric acid, uh, which is formed when urea combines with malonic acid to form malonyl urea. Barbituric acid was introduced into medicine in 1903 by Fisher and von Mehring by the name of Veronal. The structure of the drug is such that theoretically more than 2,100 derivatives of barbiton is possible. It replaces bromide for the treatment of anxiety and insomnia. And by classification, there are long acting like phenobarbiton, barbiton sodium, acting during 12 to 24 hours, intermediate acting for 8 to 10 hours, amylobarbitone and butobarbitone, short acting 4 to 6 hours, pentobarbitone, secobarbitone, phenylbarbitone, and ultra short acting, acting in 2 hours, thiopentone, uh, natriothiopentone, and methoxybarbitone. So, by mode of action, they progressively depress the central uh, ner nervous system and can break strong hypnotic effects. From medical legal aspects, they are freely prescribed, freely available, mostly suicidal, that is why, and uh, or uh, death 
due to overdose or death of addicts people because barbiturates gets the addiction so you i recommend uh, to read more in the textbook about the uh, poisoning of barbiturates and as well as other poisons like pesticides insecticides uh, and maybe i i will tell a few words about the delirium poisons which is cocaine which is extracted from the leaves of the plant extra xylium coca which grows throughout the tropical regions the leaves contain 0.62 percent of the total alcoholics it is bitter crystalline substances which are colorless and slightly soluble in water and rapidly dissolves in alcohol synthetic derivatives are novocaine nopircaine xylocaine used as local anesthetic sprays and ointments euphoria caused by the stimulation of the cerebral cortex is the main reason for the abuse of cocaine which is on the increase due to addiction development cocaine interferes with the reuptake process that returns non-epinephrine into the adrenergic nerve endings thereby terminating its action acute cocaine poisoning uh, for fatal dose is one gram ordinarily when applied to the mucous membrane it is 30 milligram the drug is absorbed rapidly from their root signs initial stimulation and subsequent depression of central nervous system happens so it starts from euphoria restlessness excitement with increasing dosage the lower motor neurons and cord reflexes are also stimulated which gives you muscular twitching and then vomiting tachycardia vasoconstriction increase of blood pressure and hyperpyrexia the stage of depression causes decrease in respiratory rate decrease in blood pressure decrease of cardiac function and respiration uh, gives heart uh, pyrexia uh, hyperperexia uh, in treatment you need to make injection or application of tourniquet local application washing of the affected area with warm water or saline chronic cocaine poisoning is called cocaineism this sense of well-being experienced on administration of cocaine causes a number of persons to drift into addiction also known as cocaineism cocaineophagia cocaineomania route of administration is uh, snuffing or injection the tongue and teeth of habitual cocaine eater are black when cocaine is used as a snuff there is general perforation of the nasal septum main signs and symptoms is anorexia loss of weight weakness impotence moral deterioration or insanity cannabis is also from the same group this is dried flowering of fruiting tops of the female plant cannabis sativa which is grown in tropical countries form the basic sources of the following marijuana hashish bank and ganja marijuana uses dried flowering tops of for smoking in cigarettes hashish tins is dark green or brown in color it is the resin exudating from the leaves and stems of plants grown on high altitudes in mountainous regions uh, it is most potent to all forms it is smoked in pipe mixed with tobacco so treatment death may occur in 12 hours of acute poisoning fatal dose of hashish is two gram uh, fatal dose of marijuana it is for non-addicts 10 minimums of tincture or 1.5 gram or three cigarettes so postmortem appearance no characteristic findings death to asphyxia from medical legal aspect marijuana is classified as mild hallucinogen as a sedative and as a narcotics it can affect time and space reception <coughs> so this is generally all uh, what i wanted to speak to say about the uh, neurotropics but please read also the spinal poisoning resembled by represented by strychnine 
and peripheral nerve poisoning represented by conium. Among cardiac poisons, also I recommend to read in textbook because uh, time is over. It is aconite, uh, nicotine, uh, then <coughs> finally asphyxiant, irre irrespirable gases and carbon monoxide ox uh, poisoning, very uh, common case of poisoning in Azerbaijan include also. As to conclusion, it has to be emphasized that although the circumstances under which the body is found and the external finding on the corpse may arouse suspicion of poisoning, this suspicion always needs to be confirmed by an autopsy or toxicological analysis. Often neither the external inspection of the body nor the autopsy finding reveal such change specific for intoxication so that a certain diagnosis can be made only after toxicological analysis. So the poison can be taken up in various ways, as we mentioned, oral, via yeah, air passage, injection, skin, mucous membrane. So the most important factor in the diagnosis is to think of this possibility at an early stage and to create the old chain, chain how poison entered and how it acted. Uh, this is all about the forensic toxicology. I wish you good luck and take care. Bye-bye. See you.